Hello, I'm Deborah Annapol, and I want to share with you my experience of a powerful healing technology called pelvic heart integration. Integration and integral have become buzzwords in some circles lately, and for good reason. They remind us of the significance of the whole. And whether we're talking about all the different parts of our personalities or our bodies or nations of planets, of galaxies, the parts need to be in right relationship in order for the whole to work properly. In fact, this is one definition of healing to bring all the individual cells, organs, genders, generations, classes, species, whatever, into harmony with each other means that they are healed or whole. Without integration, we have no peace and no harmony. Imagine if your right foot was trying to go this way and your left foot was trying to go that way. You either be split down the middle or paralyzed, unable to go anywhere. It just doesn't work if the parts are not integrated and harmonized. Pelvic heart integration takes its name from the intention of releasing the sexual energy which is often held in the pelvis, in the thighs, and in the belly and allowing it to move throughout the body, down the legs to connect with the earth and upward to the heart, the throat, the higher chakras. So many people these days are divided between their heart and their genitals between their bodies and minds and emotions. The sex center sometimes wants one thing and the mind or the heart wants another. Now, there are many wonderful approaches to reconnecting the heart and the genitals out there. I know because I've worked with them for decades. The problem is that most of these systems work only with one or two levels. And so the results are limited and often sabotaged by the parts that weren't addressed. This is why so many of the people who are guiding others in this process still haven't dealt with their own issues. Pelvic heart integration works on every level synergistically leading to deeper and more lasting results. I'll use myself as an example of what I mean. I'd already been working with groups, individuals, and partners for at least a decade when I met Dr. Jack Painter. Jack created pelvic heart integration as an offshoot of his bodywork system called postural integration because he discovered that the energy that was released in the pelvis in postural integration was so powerful, it really needed its own special process. Now, I'd already spent many years working on myself, psychologically, spiritually, sexually, before I met Jack. I wasn't really looking to fix myself at this point, but Jack needed a model for an introductory evening that he was presenting, and a mutual friend suggested that I volunteer to be the model. So I did, and that was my introduction to pelvic heart integration. I was in my early 40s at that point, and I felt very satisfied in my sexual relationships and felt very fortunate to have a lover with considerable skill, presence, and desire to please me. Our hearts and our genitals were very well connected and we experienced a lot of pleasure together. Our relationship was passionate 
but tumultuous. And we seem to get caught in an unending cycle of dramatic breakups and then often breakthroughs. He would get triggered and announce he was leaving me. I would feel abandoned and either go into rage or despair. And just about the time that I was recovering, he would come back and beg my forgiveness. I would refuse at first, but then the mutual sexual attraction got the best of us and we were off and running again. Pelvic heart integration not only revealed to me depths of sexual excitement and release that I hadn't previously suspected existed, but it showed me why this pattern of turbulence and drama with my lover kept coming around and around and around, and it showed me how to get off the emotional roller coaster that I was on. These days, many couples are caught in a struggle with each other because they didn't think they had a choice. No matter how much pain, suffering, abuse, disappointment was present, they were in it for life. These days, we glimpse the possibility of true partnership and harmony, and we don't want to settle for less. But we don't know how to get hold of this possibility for a real partnership that we've been told or we intuit or imagine is possible. Some couples have great sex, but they have difficulty getting along with each other. Some couples are great companions, but there's no sexual spark. The lucky few actually have both, but all three of these types of relationships end up struggling these days. Pelvic heart integration not only shows you why your intimate relationships are challenging, it shows you what to do about it, whether you're choosing monogamy or polyamory, or whether you're choosing not to be in relationship primary relationship at all. Because the truth is that our primary relationship is the one between the masculine and the feminine inside of us. And until we get that straight, everything outside is going to be unstable. It may work for a while, but sooner or later, breakdown occurs and we don't know what to do about it. Sex is about the fusion of the masculine and feminine energies. And our relationships with others are always a reflection of this inner relationship between the masculine and feminine inside of us. Pelvic heart integration heightens our awareness of these energy currents within our own bodies and supports us to free ourselves from the lasting and limiting effects of unresolved developmental issues and societal conditioning and helps us find new harmonious ways for the masculine and feminine within us to support, appreciate, and respect themselves and each other. When we create a strong internal foundation, our outer relationships start reflecting the inner harmony. And when they don't, we have the capacity to let go of control and allow events to unfold, trusting life to bring us what we need. Now, many spiritual teachers point the way to freedom through their lives, they show us what a life of freedom looks like. But they don't really tell us how to get free 
of the conditioning and the patterns that plague us. For me, pelvic heart integration was the missing link, showing me specific and concrete steps I could take to rewire my nervous system and leave generations of trauma behind. It's the fastest system I've ever found for breaking free of the past and reclaiming my natural innocence, openness, and curiosity. Pelvic heart integration brings the dysfunctional patterning of our bodies, minds, and emotions into awareness where we can shift our internal dynamics using the powerful forces of sex and love to support our conscious evolution. What I discovered through pelvic heart integration, which none of the previous psychotherapy, tantric, and other spiritual practices or body work had shown me, was the connection between habitual stuck places in my physical body and stuck places in my mental and emotional bodies. And once I got the connection, patterns that had run me for years suddenly dissolved. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Since I'd been a young woman, I'd always interpreted this persistent, empty, hollow feeling in my pelvis as a need for sex with a man. I never questioned that interpretation, but no matter how much sex great, horrible, indifferent, didn't seem to matter. No matter how much sex I experienced, it wasn't long before this hollow, empty feeling was back. Sex just didn't satisfy that itch. Pelvic heart integration showed me that actually what I was yearning for was the support and presence of my own inner masculine. My inner bridegroom, who is always with me, always loving me, no matter what was going on outside. This was something I finally experienced directly on every level of my being. Not something that was told to me or that I believed, but that I directly experienced and when I did, it completely changed my life. Jack died in the summer of 2010 without documenting this complex body of work he developed. Many people have been trained in and practice postural integration, the body work system that he created, but there are very few practitioners of pelvic heart integration probably because it includes genital touch and deals with very powerful sexual and primal energies. And most licensed body workers and psychotherapists shy away from it. Because it requires a significant investment of time and energy to teach or practice pelvic heart integration, there are very, very few people on the planet who do so. I really don't want to see this powerful healing technology go to the grave with Jack or with me when my time comes. So for a limited time, I'm offering the opportunity for people to experience this amazing work in hopes of turning up a few people who feel moved and are willing and able to carry it on. You don't need to have the intention to practice pelvic heart integration to benefit from experiencing this work. Anyone who's struggling with relationship or sexual issues will find it's very worth their while especially if they've already made some other efforts to deal with past traumas or present circumstances 
that are limiting their sexual and relational capacity. But if you're a practitioner who wants to access the most powerful transformational system developed so far and is not afraid of societal taboos and sexual issues, do let me know of your interest.